that from the 60s. The original Willy Wonka movie, kid actors from that from my school. So the school was a performing arts school with an agency. So they'd send out kid actors, make sure they're educated, but they're free to leave the school and, and work. It's cool. It, it just all worked out. And ang taas ng tuition ng school cost. So if you earn money as a kid actor, they take it from your, they, it pays your school tuition. So I ended up helping my parents from all the work I got to help me pay through this school. And kung may natira pa, you get that at the end of the semester in the check. Bro, explain mo muna yung school mo. Like, yung classes nyo. Like, yeah, that, like so just, to, just to show these people it, how intense you are about being a performer from such a young age. Three years old, uh, three years old, you still have to audition to be in this school. They don't just take anyone. You gotta do a, an acting piece, a, a song, and two contrasting dances. Para lang mag audition to be in the school. They do offer scholarships, but it's very rare. Um, I think nakatulong din na my ethnicity being the only one. But three years old doing that kind of audition for a pretty s- scary lady, if you ever search her. She's um she's got an OBE from the Queen. She's, she's made a lot of impact in the entertainment industry in the UK. Who is this? Phil it's, Collins' mom? Uh, yeah, uh, June Collins and Barbara Speak. Uh, June Collins' mom and Sally passed away, but the school also ended its run last year. Oh, no. You know, my dad, yeah. can I just say, like, let me just shout out yeah. my dad. Love you, Papa. He is a diehard Phil Collins fan, man. Yeah? He nice. loves that dude, bro. If ever I do, like, a celebrity boxing match, I'm going to walk out to a Phil Collins song. Just Let's remember. go. Yeah. Let's go. Um, that might yeah, it might come really soon, but okay. Yes, yeah, so no, sh- we don't, uh, we cannot announce it yet. Yeah. Anyway. Maybe. I said maybe. Like, maybe, maybe. maybe. You know? um, but, yeah. This is what a day would look like. You go in Monday, your first ballet, tap, dictation. So you got to learn how to speak. Lunch break. Then wait, wait, what do you mean learn how to speak? Like accents? There's an accent. Accents. Class? Yeah, accents. Um, you, they give you cold reads and you just read it in front of the class and then you get critiqued. Um, then you got like songwriting, jazz, instruments. And then they have to fit in, obviously, English, math, science, those normal classes, as well as everything you're doing. Ah, meron pa rin kayong basic math. And, yeah, we, yeah. But I had nobody, to, I'm sure nobody cared. Nobody cared. Dude. I was practicing <laughs> my dance routines in the back of the, le- the lecture class for history. Bro, but, ano ba? Yung school ko nga, regular school. Wala naman kaming performing. Yun talaga yun, yung mga math. And I still did care, bro. <laughs> like, I think that's why I'm not like a literal write-down guy. I'd have to like, I create, but I... Just don't have that in me. Um, and every day is like that. It's 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And it's all performing arts. And at that time, I was, in, I was performing in Miss Saigon, the musical. First time it was out in London, West End. Um, so I'd go to school 9 to 5. Go be at the theater at 6. Be there till 11 p.m. And then go back to school the next day. Three, four years old pa lang ako nun. Um, then my first ever job away from theater, working with Michael Jackson in the Brit Awards for the Earth Song. Crazy, like Michael Jackson wanted to carry me because he thought I was cute. First of, first of Bro, all, this dude met MJ. Oh, yeah. wait, yeah, he. You gotta tell that story, bro. Dude, my mo- this man <laughs> met Michael Evan Jackson, bro. Yeah, bro. Made the me dude like look- Mike Tyson, <laughs> Jordan Jackson. No, but yeah. That's a big He's problem. like, um, your son's it goes up to my mom. Michael's like, uh, your son's really cute. Can I carry him? My mom's like, yeah, sure. But I'm watching you. Because <laughs> that's like the rumors about I'm MJ. You. My mom your says, mom is but I'm G. watching you. <laughs> yeah, legit. Super dope. He, he got us a bunch of toys. And um, I got some Power Ranger stuff. It's pretty cool. And yeah, the Lord, yeah, the, you can get any toy in the house. You could, you could have picked any, any toy. toy you but, wanted. Yeah, the parents can't help the kid pick a pick. toy. Yeah, you know, like, if ever, like, like, let's say, like ten years from now, something like that happens, like maybe yeah. Kanye West or Drake is like, "Oh, I'm gonna buy your kid some toy. I will grab my kid by the collar. You get the PS5. <laughs> you get the PS5. Dude, I should have got the car, dude. The little <laughs> kid car that you sit in that you can actually yeah. drive." Yeah. I got a. You don't get the PS5. This coming, small huh? Power Ranger action figure <laughs> that your parents you could love. probably afford anyway. Easily, easily, <laughs> bro. 
So you know, talagang gusto ko, and that's his whole point. He just wants the kid to get what the kid wants. Um. So then, what else? Yeah, I mean, everyone's gone to this school. Naomi Campbell's gone to this school. Damage, if anyone remembers the boy band Damage, they went to school. There's people that were on went on to LA to be huge directors. Were on Baywatch. Even recently, people that are huge singers in the UK came from this school. They make stars. There's like three in London that compete, and this is one of the the biggest ones. All of Damage, all the boy band Damage uh, went to my school. One, I think some of them are some of them are Damage fans. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was it was cool. Like it's just cool to be on that record. From that, getting nominated in the UK as uh, best child actor in theater. What? All from this school, bro. Bro, yeah. that's amazing, man. Yeah, man. Holy! I didn't, <laughs> I, I, I didn't curse Kumu police. Don't be on my ass no more. But, and then you said, "Don't be on my no more." I'm sorry. Yeah. He tries. He tries. I'm trying police. so hard, Kumu police. You know, your effort story. I met. I met. I met the head of the Kumu police. Like when you would, you, would, you do the Zoom meeting or whatever. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, yeah, I, just, I just want to say I'm the I'm the head of the Kumu. I was like, oh, this is the only way I talk to police, man. <laughs> <laughs> With my hands up, bro. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Tell, tell us how how many you guys were like when you with your graduate okay. class. So school is from age goes from age three to age fifteen, sixteen, depending on when your birthday is when you end. There's a hundred and twenty people in the entire school. My graduating class, class of two thousand six, was eleven people. <laughs> so wala kami prom, Wait, wala kami no, you're gonna party with eleven people. No, here's the thing, huh? Because I graduated from a school where there was 14 of us. I oh, still cool. know these 14 people, bro. I know their parents. I'm friends with some of their parents on Facebook. You know what I mean? It's, 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 yeah. We're basically like connected for life now. Yeah. You don't even keep up with any of these dudes no more. I don't speak to any of them. The start that's, of that that's competitive, crazy, bro. we knew everyone. I knew everything about them. And it's a really small school. We ever had one classroom. The teacher comes to your class. You don't change classrooms. You stay there and the teacher comes. There's no point in moving. Mm-hmm. So I knew them so well. Their parents, we hung out all the time, but that's where the competitiveness started. They trained oh, us yeah. in that school. Healthy competition. You want to be better. If someone is dancing and their leg is kicks and it's this high, if your leg is higher than them, then what are you doing here? Yeah, exactly. No, if like- you want to, yeah, if you want to go dance and you just want to be so part, there's a Zumba class down the street. Don't come here for that. Don't come here. Yeah. Like we serious here. This is real work. Yeah, that's we how don't they care talk about to you. Math. Kids palang, ah. Huh? Kids palang. They talk to you like that. But that's, see, but like, you know what I mean? Product ka talaga ng environment mo. Eh. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why you are who you are now, dude. Yeah. Like when you None of us were friends. We were each other's competition. Competition. Kagad, from the start, you're sizing yeah. everyone up right away. Mm-hmm. I had to be the top yeah. boy in that school. Exactly, I wasn't, bro. I wasn't happy. But like, I was the entire time. <clears throat> but like, look at how it, look at what it made you. You know what I mean? Like yeah. now when you set a goal, we are doing it, bro. You said you wanted to lose weight. I haven't even trained you yet. And you already <laughs> what? You lost what? <laughs> Give me 30 pounds, bro. Or, come on. Wala ka pa kay Kuya mo, Alvin, yan. Wala, wala. Hindi pa ako nag-build. Hindi ka pa nag-train sa akin. Yeah, let me get Soon. there. When I'm, when I'm done with my, when, when I'm done with my shoot, La Union. Let's go. Let's go. I'm get, we gonna get you. Jack um, Jordy. Those values, though, I've taken in. They, uh, thank you. Hey, thank you. Those values I took into the industry. <laughs> Pythons. That's right, guys. Tawag tayo ng pest control kasi ang laki ng mga ass dito. No <laughs> joke. <laughs> anyway. They, they trained you. Like I said, I, I don't know if I said this yet, but like there's a once a year master class with Phil Collins where he tells you the, the legitness of being in the building. He said, when I when it's recess and we go out there, you guys playing around? Cool. But what I was doing as I started writing my songs in recess and I would go in and see if the music teachers liked it. And that's when I started. I was like, oh, okay. Like, even in, the, in my downtime, I can still work. I learned that at that school. Um, so super, I, I love them. Like, the teachers, I'm still close to. They're like parents. Instead of the students. Yeah, we don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, again, now we shift. Is there anything else you want to add about the school before we shift? Um, no. Just Google it. It's a good no, school. We- Anyone in London? Barbara no, like, Stage School. Sobrang, hindi, gusto ko lang ipakita sa mga tao to kasi makikita nila kung gano'ng ka, kaiba talaga eh. 
Do you know what I mean? Buhay mo to. Like, oh, you're not talaga. playing around, man. Naging, ako, naging oh. artista ako dahil nagla, nag, dahil sinundo ko yung kapatid ko sa commercial shoot. May nagbigay sa akin ng calling card na nakalimutan kong nasa bulsa ko. Hinalakat lang ng nanay ko yan. Kaya ako naging artista. Ikaw, oh. hindi. You were like, nope, ito yun. Alam Marami ko na. Marami nagsasabi, like, yeah, Jordan's not the best looking. He's probably not even the most talented most of the time. We could go with other people, but we know because of Jordan's training, when he shows up on set, he's gonna work. <laughs> wala ka pa dito, wala ka pa dun eh. Parang may, may, umiikot sa, may umiikot sa social media. Usapan namin ni Samber, nakakatawa, dude. Ano yun? <laughs> Inaasar ko siya, tapos parang sabi niya sa akin, mas pogi yung jowa ko sa'yo, tapos sitignan ko lang sa akin, wala sa pogi yan. <laughs> <laughs> Kakapasok ko nun sa bahay dyan. Alam ng mga viewers natin yan, dude. Nakakatawa yun. Oh, That's what's up. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so... Siguro. Move on na tayo. Move on na tayo sa next, next natin topic. Uh, 